Coming up next, a matchup for the UFC Women's Strawweight Division title. With much fanfare, here she is, the number one strawweight contender. This is a five-tool player, ladies and gentlemen. One of the best 115-pound fighters we've ever seen. A fighter that many fans believe already is the number one fighter in this division. Now, though, her chance to prove it, to get the hardware, to get the gold, and attach UFC strawweight champion to her name in perpetuity. So much depth now at 115 pounds, but they're all still chasing her. Yeah, they are, the undisputed UFC strawweight champion. And she's got the confidence that belies the champion. As you see her make this walk here tonight, she won the belt with flying colors, defended it with style points, and that's the same goal here tonight. She really is a fighter that maintains a calm demeanor, takes it fight by fight. She has aspirations to be the greatest of all time. She is well on her way. for this strawweight championship fight. Well, at least on paper, what an even matchup here. Everything between these two fighters is nearly identical coming in here tonight. Once again, here is the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC strawweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding professional record of 18 wins, five losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Claudia Gadella. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 23 wins, three losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC strawweight champion of the world, John. This is for the UFC Championship. I want you to bear my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, match your corners, come out fighting. You ready? So here we go with round one of this highly anticipated affair. No round it doesn't even begin to describe it. Both women have every skill in the book. Both of them have every skill in the book. They're so talented. They train so hard. They come from great camp. This is a very even match. Ooh, what a punch. Another punch position. Educated jab right there from Zhang Wei Li. This is a competitive division, but certainly looks like a fighter who could reign for some time. I mean, China's first UFC champion. And Wei Li is the person that you want to see carrying the flag for her country. She has everything. She's even learned to speak English now. She understands the importance of drawing people in and capturing the imagination of the fight fans around the world. Oh, yeah, right here. 
both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Big knee lands there. A swing and a miss by Gedalia. Oh, nice job by her there. Opponent may be expecting that right hand. She goes with the left. You start thinking one thing, she will hit you with the other. Oh, nice jab. Nice punch, man, over the top. Oh, she lands the left punch. Gedalia going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. Oh, right hand, yes. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, she connected with that right hand, DC. She's so fast when she throws it. There is no tell as to when that right hand is coming. So just over 20 total strikes, which have landed for Wei Li Zhang. Gedalia gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Real sneak body kick. Double leg takedown, stuffed. Right hand pressure the clinch. Hands on your face. Just out of the range with that right hand. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's going to be the person? to dictate the pressure. Who's gonna control the engagement from this 50-50 position? Beautiful strike. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances, a lot of motions in here that may be a loss on the casual fight. Absolutely, and it's gonna be the underhook. For all the things that happen in position, the person winning and controlling the underhook battle is the one out ahead. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, DC, second round is getting nice. underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Good stick. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big kick. Total strikes have landed for Wei Li Zhang. Well, and you've got to admire the accuracy and the efficiency as well, landing at a 63% clip thus far against Claudia Gadell. Man, she might punch harder than you. Nice connection there. Yeah, I don't know about that, John, but she... There's the shot, there's the takedown. Hey, the there it is, her first takedown of the fight. She told us in our fighter meeting Thursday, at some point, I will take her down. She didn't expect it to take this long, but here it is. She really had to work to get this first takedown, and she never gave up on herself. Continued to press, continued to shoot, continued to level. Cadelia's going for a choke here. Now it's starting to slip under the neck. Oh, we're getting a finish here. This might just be a matter of time. Wow. Oh, she gives up her back here, DC, so she's got a lot of work to do now. What do you do, tuck the chin, hand fight? You've got to tuck the chin. You've got to bring both hands to the hands, because as your chin is going down, your opponent's going to be attacking your neck. Two hands on one. Force it down, build your base, try to get back to your feet. And if worse comes to worse, give up the mount. Right. Because the mount is better than having this fighter on your back. Nothing fun about it. We'll see if she can escape here. Oh, how about that reverse? 
reversal by her there, champ. That is a fantastic transition by this young lady. What a job. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Oh, Gedalia's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, keeping busy here off of her back. Nice offense from the bottom. Now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, Will. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, so that last round, another pretty good frame for both fighters. We'll see which woman makes the requisite adjustments here in this next round. Somebody has to really get out ahead. It's too worrisome going to the judges. Man, her head is just getting snapped back like a turtle. Beautiful combination once again, and she just hasn't been able to adjust. Striking defense should not be employed by getting punched in the face. She has to move her head, keep her hands up to avoid taking all these clean shots. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and Here's your evidence, outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Jean. Man, her striking looks clean tonight, timing on point. Her timing on point, her accuracy's on point. She's very busy, she's in a good flow. Well, these numbers aren't official, but they are strong. 73 total strikes which have landed for Weili Jean and landing with 68% accuracy against Claudia Gadelli. And she lands a punch there. We'll see if she can start to turn these singular strikes into combinations now. She's going to have to find something to follow that big strike that she's landing over and over again. Big power shot there. Quick entry to get Man, it on a that single. Was a great single. Gadelia gets the takedown. Now let's see what she can do with it. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly. Adelia's looking for that arm triangle now. All right, she postures up here. Nicely done. Her ground and pound is downright scary in constant pursuit of the finish. Might get it here. She does a really good job of throwing punches with intent. She never just throws just to be throwing. Every punch is meant to land, and every punch is meant to start a finish. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. Cadell is able to transition back to side control now. We have now hit the final minute of this championship fight. Pretty good work off of the bottom here by Zhang Weili. And she's back up again, so the takedowns have been there. So have the get-ups. Wow, is she applying a lot of pressure here? I'm not sure how much her opponent can take. Clear sense of urgency here as she tries to make sure the judges stay out of it. Gedalia's lower jaw does not look good. I'm not sure it could be any more swollen. She continues to fight through it. Let's see how far she can go. Right hand punches the clinch. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the horn. Let us now check out some of the action from that round, DC. What a display of striking. Yeah, John, she did a great job. I mean, she knew exactly what she needed to do, and she mixed everything up beautifully, right? Every punch landed to a kick. Whenever her opponent thought kicks, she would follow up with punches. It was a master class in striking over the course of that round. I think we are the only two men sitting in this arena as we have arrived at round four and we enter the championship rounds. A huge, huge five minutes coming up for these two young ones. J.A., I couldn't have imagined that this fight would be this good. It's round number four now. 
who can really keep fighting at such a high level with such good technical skills as they've gone into round number four. Oh, she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. It's one thing to be aggressive, but also efficient. She is certainly doing that. And now she's got the tie clinch. And they separate. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. The takedown is not there. Shot landed. Now she's got to go chase first down to get another one off to finish the fight. Oh, how is she standing? Brutal knee to the body. Three minutes remain in the round. Vidalia <laughs> gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. Now she's got the Muay Thai plum. And that one certainly found the target. She blocked the punch. There's no tell on that leg kick. Nice strike. I'm not sure her striking has ever looked better, DC, finding the range with relative ease here tonight. She's doing a great job of timing everything. She is seeing everything out there. Oh, big head kick land. She now has her opponent on the ropes. She threw her entire body into that massive uppercut, and she is seeing the reward of her hard work. Gedalia's got the head. Let's see if she can finish off this guillotine attempt. Staying busy. Man, she is just non-stop on the ground, moving. Chong's looking for that arm triangle. Sustain there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round. She didn't force the finish after getting that knockdown with the head kick, but was very close to getting the job done there for good in that round. She's so patient. She's never going to overextend herself. She's never going to rush. She's never going to force anything. She will always stay exactly in her pocket. She will stay exactly in her rhythm. She believes that eventually the finish will come. Strike to the body here. Instead, it's turned away by Zhang Weili. Good luck. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. Spinning back fist. That's some good takedown defense right there. Single leg attempt, no good. Oh, she lands a massive knee to the head. And the left kick there with conviction. With conviction. Oh, big left. Again, they will clinch. We'll see how it goes. That knee might have landed there. So pretty good volume with the knees there in that exchange. Just damaging knee after knee. It's hard to watch. Right on the button. Big kick lands. Under three minutes to decide this one. Big elbow there, Lance. Knee to the body. Oh, she landed a big knee to the body. Oh, 
very nice job by her to turn those hips and really dig that foot into the lead leg. Dug it right into her opponent's thigh. Her opponent cannot take many more of these right. Y'all, double leg takedown. That's her best shot. Good again. Oh, watch Guillotine here. Oh, nice Guillotine there. There it is. Tonight. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Jean. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition. Game. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Jean Weili. Cadelia's back in half guard, very comfortable here. Oh, nice strike on the ground for it. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Jean. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions. Now it's starting to slip under the neck. Well, it wasn't easy, that's for sure, and it never is when you're taking on number one contenders left and right, but a championship effort out of the incumbent tonight. You saw her championship heart shine through in this fight. She was pushed on so many levels tonight, and she showed that not only is she one of the best champions we have, she is definitely one of the toughest champions we have in the entire UFC. The official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 49-46, 48-47, and 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still, the undisputed UFC strawweight champion. about defending a UFC title, and she's able to get it done here tonight. Congratulations to the still UFC strawweight champion, and looks like she wants to get another belt from Dana White. She might just get it. I mean, over and over, this young lady comes in here and defends her title. It's almost like you don't expect the challenger to truly have a chance. She's phenomenal, man. That belt is gonna be hard to take away from her.